My name is Dr. Richard Hilsden and you're watching Knife Skills. Today I want to talk about what does the appendix actually do. And I was inspired to make this video, believe it or not, from TikTok. I was joking around, shot a little video of myself saying the appendix does nothing. And somebody responded by saying, no, the appendix stores part of the microbiome. He's trying his best. It was a cute comment in response to my joke. And uh, actually the person who responded is correct. The appendix does have a role in bacterial function. At least that's what we believe it does today. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the appendix and talk about what it is and what it presumably does and what happens to the appendix. So I'm going to show you a picture from Gray's Anatomy here. And this is a old textbook, but really very little has changed in anatomy knowledge since the time of the writing of this text. You can see that this part of the colon is the cecum. This is the part, first part of the small bowel where it dumps into the colon. So this is the, the terminal ileum dumping into the colon. And then we have this little worm known as the vermiform appendix. In this case, vermiform process is how it's stated on Gray's Anatomy, but the vermiform appendix. And Charles Darwin in The Descent of Man made the statement that the appendix is likely a vestigial organ that is left over from a time where other mammals used larger cecums to help break down cellula, cellulose, the so-called hindgut fermenters. Those animals had larger appendixes associated with the larger cecum, and they would store bacteria in the appendix, presumably, that would help break down that cellulose. The reality is, though, we no longer are capable of doing that. Human beings through our evolutionists have lost the ability to break down plant matter that way and plants don't play the same role nutritionally in our diet as they did to some of our ancestors. And so Charles Darwin certainly assumed that the appendix was a vestigial organ and that was largely believed at the time that that it came from some some um, a previous generation that it, that it didn't have a purpose in the in human anatomy and physiology and in fact if anything it's probably the most famous of uh, the vestigial organs one of my favorite websites is the awkward yeti and there's a cute little uh, meme that, that the awkward yeti has made and I'll just show you here on the computer as well and it's the non-essential organ support group. You have a purpose, maybe. My name is the appendix. Sometimes I get so angry I could burst. And of course we have uh, the tonsils, which actually do have a purpose as well. The gallbladder also has a purpose, but can certainly be removed. And we have wisdom teeth. And those again are thought to be a vestigial uh, organ as well. So what does the appendix actually do? So there's a few interesting truths about the appendix. So what we think the appendix does is that it is an area almost of refuge, an area of storage for normal, healthy colon bacteria so that if during periods of diarrhea or severe illness, there is a change in the bacteria load throughout the colon, the appendix can repopulate the colon with the healthy bacteria. You see, we live in a in a what's called a commensal relationship with bacteria in our colon. We we are teammates with the bacteria in our colon. The colon help us digest, help us properly handle nutrients and in our diet. And what we provide for the bacteria is a home. And the, the reality is that human beings store countless numbers of organisms and provide a healthy commensal relationship with these microorganisms. And the bacteria set up home 
in the appendix, and it's thought to be that site of refuge. In addition, the appendix is thought to have some interesting immunological functions as well, related to the gastrointestinal lymphoid tissues, or the GALT, or gastrointestinal associated lymphoid tissues, known as GALT. And one of our strong evidence that the appendix plays this role is its relationship to ulcerative colitis. So ulcerative colitis is an important inflammatory bowel disease. And the relationship with the appendix and the ulcerative colitis is that people who have had appendicitis and have an appendectomy before the age of 20 are much less likely to develop ulcerative colitis in adulthood. And we don't necessarily understand the relationship with that, but we do know that the, it is productive and it plays a role. So without a doubt, the appendix does more than nothing. But is it a vestigial organ? And I would argue that it is, because at other stages in our evolution, the appendix had a much more important role in gastrointestinal digestion and in a lot of ways has been repurposed in these lesser roles. And certainly there is no impact on quality of life when people do have their appendix removed. And that's one of the jobs I do as a general surgeon. Patients come in with appendicitis and even though there is a role for antibiotic therapy in, in appendicitis, and maybe I will review some articles on this channel in the future, the reality is, is that the standard of care in 2020 remains surgical appendectomy for patients who have appendicitis. It's the safest and most effective way to deal with this problem. And the quality of life is unaffected. So there you go. Maybe the appendix does a little bit more than nothing, but not much. You've been watching Knife Skills. Thank you for sticking around this long. Please like and subscribe. I'm, it's really for people like you that I put in the time to make these videos. Thank you.